Philip, Swiss nano machines, how, how long has this uh, model been around? Uh, we started selling this product in 2012 and uh, it is actually a, a big seller for Tonos. Uh, we are leading the market of the micro-mechanical applications worldwide, especially in the watch market, electronics, dental and medical applications. Why did you introduce this machine though? Because it's quite different. In a minute I'm going to open the, uh, call it the hood here and have a look inside, but why did you introduce it? Yes, uh, we did uh, work on the specification of the machines based on the customer's needs for micro-mechanical applications. It's very important on such machine with small bar capacity to be able to have a, an easy access to the machining area, to make the, the setup uh, process easier for the people, to have a very good tooling possibilities and also a very small footprint because we are looking also to uh, exchange by our customers some old cam-driven machines and replace them by the Swiss Nano 4. Okay, so let, let's open this, yes. this now because yes. You, one of the points you just made there is about the ease of access for you, setting. And this is a perfect demonstration, isn't it? Being able to get into the machine, change the tools, uh, even maybe inspect the parts. It's Absolutely. very, very easy to get access Absolutely. to. So you see we have an easy access 180 degree around the machine. I'm actually looking at the counter operation side. So the operator would stand over there. And you see that the access is very easy. Also all the ergonomics, you know, the distance for the operator to reach the tool in main operations or in counter operations is very fast and very easy. Now with it, with it, the machine and its very nature, it's a small footprint, what's the biggest bar diameter you can go up to on this for your turn? Uh, the maximal uh, bar capacity is four millimeter. We are also working now on a bigger machine size that will be seven millimeter for end of next year. So the market's quite small then, is it? Because, you know, parts less than four millimeters I know there is a lot of them, but it's not as, as uh, the market wouldn't be as big as the, the larger components, yes, would it? Yes, it is a kind of niche market, you know, very small applications, but this is also due to the Tonos history. We are leading this market because Tonos is not only manufacturing machines, we are also working a lot on machining processes, you know, how to set up the machine, help the customer to reach their best productivity and best precision on the machine. So this is the strength of Tonos company. So looking at this, this is about volumes of parts, isn't it? And when you're talking about volumes, you need lots of tools. Uh, they need to be in close proximity. Uh, how many tools does this machine have or how many can it have? Yes, on this uh, Swiss Nano 4, we can uh, tool up, up to 15 tools on the machine in main operations or in counter operations. Right, so we have a main spindle and we have a sub spindle. Yes. This, this is obviously your main spindle here. Exactly. And this is then your sub spindle. Yes. Here we have a, a, a platen of tools here. But we can have tools here as well. Also and where, where else? Also motorization for life tools. As you see here, we have a polygon meaning attachment. We can also adapt so gear hobbing process or cross, uh, cross tools, uh, drilling or tapping or cross meaning operations. And when you're doing volumes of parts, time is everything. How fast is this machine? How quick does the spindle run? How, how quick do the axes move? Yes, so the spindle rotations on the main spindle and sub-spindle goes up to 16,000 RPM. Huh? We have over 25 meter per minute uh, axis acceleration on the machine with a small axis uh, travel distance to go. So it is a very productive machine for small applications. When we talk to machine tool builders, they often promote the size of the machines, the, the casting, the bases, how big they are, how heavy they are. With this being such a small machine, does that compromise you with its power and its rigidity, or are those things not necessarily important with small parts? I think on such small machine, it's not necessary to have very, uh, let's say, a torque, big torque or high power. What is important is the precision of the machine, the stability, its thermal behavior, and also very important, as you can see on the machine, its footprint. We are replacing old cam-driven machines by our customers, and those machines are very narrow machine. So with this one, we can really, you know, take an old machines, put a new Swiss Nano at the same footprint. One, one of the arguments of this machine, because it's really dedicated for those small applications, is also uh, the reliability of the machine. It works three shifts a day by customers, and also energy consumption is a big advantage versus our competitors. What, what about the feeding of, of the bar, for example? Is this, is this a completely integrated machine, or is it, do you buy the machine and then add a bar feed to it? How does that work? So you can imagine having bars rotating up to 16,000 uh, RPM per minute. You need to have very good and very precise uh, feeding system. Therefore, we work also with a Swiss supplier uh, to make a perfect adaptation in the design and also in the machining process 
of an automatic bar feeder. And with a machine like this and doing very small parts, you, it's, you need to maintain accuracy, obviously. What, what can you turn to on here? What, what, would you be, what would be the repeatability of a machine like this? Uh, for similar applications in the watch market, you can imagine the precision needed in this industry. So we are able to hold plus minus one micron in production on typical watch applications. And those are the needs of the Swiss watchmakers. And how many of these machines would you have sold around the world then? Would it only been a, a matter of years since it's been launched? We are close to 300 machines actually and uh, we see an increase into the, the market needs because we are not working only on the watch making market but also on the electronics, the small dental and medical applications. The last machine we delivered was delivered in Costa Rica so you can imagine the interest in also specific countries for this type of machine. And we talk about four millimeters being the maximum bar diameter. Have you any plans here to make a machine that's got a bigger uh, bar capacity? Yes, you can imagine, thanks to the success of the Swiss Nano, that the market, some other markets, are really and deeply looking at its unique kinematics. So we are looking now to have a new machine for the end of next year with a capacity up to seven millimeter, which will cover most of the market needs in the electronics, small uh, orthopedic applications, and other micromechanical parts. And as we look in here, one of the things we started this interview is talking about how easy it is to access and set. If I literally just close the door, there we go, press the button, and we're off. And, and we make good parts.